in this modern society, we feel I am individual person and I'm separated from other people and things and try to make me happy is most important thing. But we don't see, you know, this self, this individual self is empty and connected with all beings. Therefore, our way of life is very kind of uh, isolated from the rest of the world and the rest of the society. I think that makes our self, our life isolated. We always try to find in connectedness, but even the connectedness is a kind of a symptom of uh, you know, isolation. That, that's why we want to have connection, but connection through using words and internet makes us feel more isolated because we don't really trust you know, other people's words. It's really a genuine expression of other people's feelings or heart. So we have to be always suspicious about other people and even we don't believe ourselves. If what I'm really feeling and thinking and what I'm saying is same thing or not. You know, there are, so there are so many false uh, news, fake news. Even what I'm saying might be something not, not really as what I feel and think. I use the, even the language as a kind of a weapon to compete with others or to influence others in the way I want. So in that way of life, you know, it's really difficult to find a peace of mind. To me, you know, this practice to find uh, emptiness and interconnectedness with all beings and find peace of mind is really important for us living in this world today. That is Sa uh, Sawaki Roshi's uh, saying. Sawaki Roshi is uh, my teacher's teacher. He had a very good sense of humor. <laughs> so Buddha nature and thief nature <laughs> is the way he expressed this reality. Thief nature means I want this, therefore I have to get that, that thing I want, even that is not my possession. If, even if that is other person's possession, I want to get it. That is a thief nature, and he said all of us have thief nature to s satisfy our personal desire. But we are also have a Buddha nature. That is a nature we are connected with all beings and support each other. And depending upon our activity, our action here and now, we may express either Buddha nature or thief nature. So our practice is try to express or manifest Buddha nature instead of thief nature. But we cannot live without thief nature. We have to uh, accept this reality. We have both. Well, those four are the four manifestations or symptom of the idea of Atman in Buddha's teaching. When we don't see the four series, four Dharma series, and we think uh, that self is important and permanent and to satisfy this self is the goal of our life. That is the opposition of three, three minds. So those four gachi ga ken ga man ga is a symptom of the sickness caused by the idea of the self uh, uh, according to Buddhist teaching. The problem with modern society is based on those four things. <laughs> and we suffer. <laughs> we yeah. create the problems and we suffer. And it's really difficult to transform 
But right. there are some wisdom in the in the history of Buddhist or uh, human spirituality. We can learn and try to st study and make change. Those three minds taught by Dogen Zenji uh, when he wrote about practice of Tenzo in the kitchen. And he said not only Tenzo or cook, but everyone in the Sangha, uh, including the abbot and novice, everyone in the Sangha needs to have those three minds. First thing is magnanimous mind, that is a mind see uh, the community as one without differentiation or separation, that is interconnection. And the second is a parental mind or a nurturing mind. That means we see we can f offer something to be harmonious with other people because other people offer me or support me. Or I also try to support others. That is a nurturing mind or a parental mind. Uh, Uchiha Moroshi often said, childish mind always want to be taken care of. And when people take care of uh, me, we are satisfied, we are happy. But people don't take care of me, I scream and complain. But a real matured person uh, who has a parental mind can have joy within helping others. Because same as a parent uh, find happiness by taking care of children. That is a, a joyful mind. So those three are not three separate different minds, but three minds are one mind. And it's really important to practice and live together within the Sangha or community. So magnanimous mind is a mind to see interconnectedness. And, but as a practice, we have to use my body and mind as one. But by uh, trying to practice to uh, manifest interconnectedness, we, we need to find zero. You know, this is really empty. So those three mind uh, is an expression of three aspects of ourselves as one equals zero equals infinity.